Good morning. It's January 17th, and today our reading from Solid Stepping Stones is called Malice of Forethought Day. It comes from Romans chapter 13, verse 14b, and give no premeditation to the desires of the flesh. While we were the youth pastors at Angelus Temple in Los Angeles, Pastor Harold Helms had a favorite line he would use, particularly at mealtimes. He would pray, Forgive us, Lord, for we know what we are doing. This joke struck at the core of our ability as fallen creatures to rationalize beforehand the sins we are about to commit. The difference between first-degree and second-degree murder is premeditation, or malice of forethought. Sometimes people kill one another by mistake or out of sudden rage, and it is always a tragedy for all concerned. But even the law understands that it is much more evil to carefully plan out a murder, to know what you are about to do, and systematically design the death of another. This forethought, this premeditation, is what Paul is diverting us from in this verse. It is amazing how many sins we wouldn't commit if we simply didn't think about them beforehand. Bottom line, if we don't think about it first, we usually don't do it. Today is malice of forethought day. When you catch yourself thinking about something you know Jesus would not do, simply stop thinking about it. You might even be in the middle of ongoing plans to do something you know Jesus wouldn't do. The solution is simple. Stop planning. Simply start planning something Jesus would do. It's all about thinking like Jesus. Let's pray. God, show me my sins in the planning stages today. If I'm not thinking about it, I certainly won't do it. Show me the malice in my thinking before it becomes malice in action. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are from Genesis chapters 33 and 34 and Psalms 23. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.